Happy Legoland Day, everyone. So we are planning a little birthday trip for our niece in Legoland in Florida. And this is our video. I'm just showing both Legoland and Peppa Pig Land. So if this interests you, please hit subscribe, like the video and hit that notification button and enjoy the video. So this seems to be the center hub of Legoland. Over to our left we have Heart Lake City. I'm not sure what that is, but we will definitely go there. And then there's Duplo Valley Land. Not sure what that is either. Uh, but in the middle we've got the Grand Carousel, which is all made of Lego horses. Really cute. I don't think it's really made of Legos, but it looks like it. And then here behind me is something I really want to try. It's Granny's apple fries. Mmm. I will um, let everybody know what this is about, but this might be my favorite snack of all time. Keep you posted. So we're going to come back for the apple fries because they have an apple fry stand that's open for business, but they don't have any apple fries. So they said, come back in 10 minutes. We're not ready. We'll be back.
fell in here with the apple bites in Lego Land. Got a little whipped cream and also some caramel. And we're gonna see what they taste like. They look like little french fries and caramel. Mmm, that's really good. Tastes like a little mini apple pie. Not bad. I'd have to go in for a second. Very good. Not cheap. Paid like eight dollars, but got a nice amount of fries. But everything is extra. The whipped cream is extra. The caramel is extra. So it's a pricey snack. But if you like apple pie, it's worth it. Oh, wow, you get wet. Look at that. Oh, my, I don't want to get wet. You don't just get wet, you get soaked. We're gonna try some pizza and pasta. I will let you guys know how it is, but it is kind of cute outside. Pizza and pasta. I wonder what they have on the menu. My guess is pizza and pasta. Um, but we'll see. And to my surprise, it's a buffet. Not sure why I thought it wouldn't be a buffet, but it is. And they've got some dessert type pizza. Regular pizza. And some mac and cheese and pasta and garlic butter raviolis of some kind. Mm. And more pizza. Kind of reminds me of the old Pizza Hut buffets back in the day. Yummy. And here's the salad bar. Croutons. Same thing on both sides. And it is a self-serve soda machine. Very old 1980s and 90s Pizza Hut feel. So we just had the pizza and pasta and it was okay. It reminded me a lot, and I think I said this 
of the old Pizza Hut buffets back in the you know, 80s and 90s. Um, if you like Pizza Hut, you're gonna love it. If uh, you weren't a fan of Pizza Hut, then maybe it's not the place for you, but it's not cheap. It's $21 plus tax for an adult, and it's all you can eat pizza and pasta, but um, it's pricey, and it's average food at best, but it filled me up, and we're ready to uh, go on some rides. So this is really cool. It's a bunch of different miniature Lego scapes of various monuments around the world. Like here you've got Daytona Speedway, um, you got Cape Canaveral. Very cool. Big fancy tent. What do we got here? What do we have here? Miami Beach. Oh, okay. Interesting. It's very cool. Little Havana in Miami, I think. Again, this is the NASA Space Center in Cape Canaveral. Not the real one, this is just Legos. I love the little boats. They have these little um, magnetic tracks. I don't know if you can see the little magnetic tracks and there's like a, a magnet underneath that keeps everyone on track. Oh, I lied. There's a little string. It's pulling it. Ah, it's clever. This is Tampa, downtown Tampa. Panama City Beach. It's a lot of Florida themes. Oh, I see pirate ships. Let's go see the pirate ships. Before the pirate ships, Florida State Capitol Building. St. Augustine, so this is a lot of Florida. Little castle there. Interesting. And we got pirate ships. Arr. We got the pirates. It's very cool. And the theme is pirates. I called that one. So now I see the Golden Gate Bridge, so I'm thinking this is San Francisco. It just says Golden Gate Bridge. Yep, that is the Golden Gate Bridge for sure. And more boats. Pier 30 in California. I've been there once in my life and that is pretty 
accurate. San Francisco. San Francisco. Very cool. And here, oh, this is DC for sure. I don't think that I need to look at a tag to tell, but this is definitely DC. Capitol Building. Capitol building. Huh. Just downtown DC, I think. It's the White House. The Washington Monument. There's the Lincoln Memorial. Very cool. Ooh, what's this? Vegas. Oh, it's definitely Vegas. Got the MGM. I've never been to Vegas, so I really don't know. Eiffel Tower scene from Vegas. I think it's called like the Paris Hard Rock or the Paris Rock. The Tropicana. Very cool. The Luxor Hotel. So cool. Treasure Island Hotel, the Mirage. New York in the background I'm trying to figure out what this is maybe Central Park oh the Guggenheim oh that's the Guggenheim not sure what that is it's the Guggenheim Museum this is just New York City MetLife building the Empire State Building in the back I'm sorry, that's the Chrysler building in the back. There's the Empire State Building. Oh, Grand Central Station. Oh, very cool. Oh, uh, I just hit a button and the little fountains went up. Oh, this is Rockefeller Center. I wonder if around Christmas they put a little tree right there. Very cool. Times Square, been there many times. Big theater fan. We did a little community theater over the past couple of years. Ooh. Huh. I'm glad I was not standing there. Go around. And here is the Statue of Liberty. We're just going to finish off here, going back to California. Hollywood Boulevard and the uh, Chinese Theater. The original one, not the one in Hollywood Studios and Disney World. Actually, that's not the original one. That's just Legos. And the Hollywood Bowl. Amphitheater. Very cool. This is an amazing place. 
Yeah, obviously, it's not an attraction. It's not a ride. A lot of TLC went into this. A lot of thought. A lot of artistic skill and patience to put all these Lego statues together. It's really an incredible sight and I'm sure the video is not doing it justice. So if you do ever come to Legoland, um, yeah, really, really recommended that you spend a little time in this mini world and uh, just admire the skill and talent that went into putting this together. So cool. This is very cool. Coast Guard Academy. This is it's a little boat ride where I don't know if you actually get to uh, control the speed, but I think you steer, which is pretty cool. This reminds me of the boat rides in, in I don't know how many of you folks have ever been to Knobles Grove in Eliesburg, Pennsylvania. But um, if you have, very similar concept to the boats in Knobles, um, except these are made out of Legos. Well, not really, but you know. Close enough. Rescue Academy, it's, I don't know what that is. Oh, it's an interactive fire truck where you actually have to pump your fire truck to get moving. Ooh. Junior Driving School. This is probably what we've been looking for. 35 minute wait. Very cool. Not sure what you do. Let's pause and find out. And I think the driving school started. It looks like some of the kids may have already created some clue. Some bumper cars. <laughs> and I think this one here is for some of the bigger kids. I was going to say, it looks like there's some adults in here, but now it's um, bigger kids. My guess is you have to be a certain height to actually be in here. Oh, uh, you're actually... What a little city. Wow, interesting. Oh, that was almost... Almost an accident right there. Oh, there's a red light. Let's see if he stops. And he blew right through that red light. That's okay. It's Legoland. Very cool. Go get him, please.
Ava, remember to push the pedal when you're ready. On the floor. Do you see the pedal on the floor? You have to step on it. The really cool thing about this ride is when it's over, the staff member walks around and gives every kid a driver's license. So they're really, really excited for that. Turn the wheel, turn the wheel, turn the wheel. Turn it more, turn it more. Okay, and now hit the pedal. It's okay, we got insurance. <laughs> this might be the best ride ever for kids. And this is where the guy walks wait, around Ava, Ava, you gotta wait. We'll and gives you the kids their own little driver's license. Very cool. Somebody might want to greet her at the exit. Very cool. So the family decided to go on the Coast Guard Academy. And we'll see what type of uh, boat accidents they can get into or avoid. Very cool.
How many walls did you hit? Good job, make your way back. Number seven, good job. Number five, good job. All right, number six, good job. Remember to stay in your trucks, stay in your trucks. Wait till all trying to make it back. Good job, number six. This is Technic Land. I don't know what that means, but this seems like it is a an area for maybe some older kids. Interesting. Let's see what this does. This is a little spitty ride. Not really sure what this does. I think it's a steering type of game, which doesn't seem like most other people here understand it. Actually, it looks like they don't have enough water in here. Oh, a Lego monster. More games. Funnel cake. And the Great Lego Race Coaster. So this is a lot like, if anybody remembers the old boardwalk style mousetrap type of rides, that's pretty much what this is, except you're in a Lego cart. Okay, I am on a ride. It's the techno cycle ride. It just goes in a circle and you have to pedal to go up. I'm not a good pedaler, so we'll see what happens here. Nothing's happening and I'm pedaling. We're, go we're going up. Oh wow, going up. 
Now I'm not pedaling anymore, I'm going down. And I'm ooh, going up. And I'm not pedaling anymore. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is fun. I'm just going around in circles. See what happens. Jen, you're a spinner, come on. It's rhythm, it's not speed, it's rhythm. So to be able to do this, hold my phone, record and sustain, speed and rhythm takes a lot of skill and considering I don't cycle it's, it's just competition very competitive oh, all right we're going down I think it's over Well, I think the ride's over. So, we'll see you on the next. Oh, oh, oh we're going down. Bye bye. All right, last ride of the day at Legoland is the Lego Racer Coaster. It's kind of like a mousetrap ride that you'd see on a boardwalk, but. Well, little kid just jumped in front of us. Um, 20 minute wait, we'll see what happens. I think we just got in the wrong line. Are you nervous? Yep. Sure. Even, even the big hill? Not a big hill. We're next. So definitely not a kitty ride. The uh, I'm very proud of her. She doesn't like roller coaster hills, and this was bigger than I thought. It was fun. Um, you know, it's not extreme, but oh, there we go. Uh, now I'm gonna get my bag. Whew. Like I was saying, fun ride, cute, short. It's a kitty ride but not for little ones. I'd say seven, eight years old and up is probably a good age for this.
but that was fun. Nice way to end our day at Legoland. And we're going back to our Airbnb. And tomorrow will be Peppa Pig Land Day. Um, so, if you've made it this far, we really do appreciate your support and your views. And we also would like you to subscribe to the channel, hit that like button and notification bell. And we will see you tomorrow at Peppa Pig Land. On the way out of the park, we stopped at the bathroom and I thought this was so cute. I had to take a video. I guess this Lego boy really has to go. So on our way out, we are walking through the medieval land. We didn't really have time to get to today. There's a cool little jousting ride where you're on these little horses that actually ride the tracks as if you're jousting. It's really cool. Very cool. And they have Kingdom Cones, which has dull soft serve pineapple flavor hmm I wonder what that could be but medieval land it's cute There's a little shop, some face painting, and I think this is like a little mini Himalayan type of type of ride. It just goes around in a circle. The dragon. I have no idea what that is. It's, pro it's probably an indoor dark ride of some kind. Maybe if Peppa Pig Land is, uh, we get through that early, we might come back here tomorrow. But, um, yeah, that's it for today. And there's a roller coaster over there that we didn't get a chance to go on. The lines were just too long earlier in the day and we had some traffic on the way in. So we got didn't get here till about 12.30, so we're about two hours late. But it was a nice day. See you tomorrow. Good morning. It's Sunday, day two of our Legoland um, excursion. We decided to come back to Legoland today because um, Peppa Pig Land is really, really small. So we figured two, three hours we should be in and out of there. So we're going to go back to what we didn't get to yesterday. So uh, yeah, stay tuned. Peppa Pig Land will be a little bit later in the day. But for now, we are back in Legoland, heading to the medieval world or whatever they're calling it. So. Cool. So I wonder if they're all actual Lego cars. It's real Legos. Oh my gosh. Oh, that goes fast. A lot faster than I thought it would be.
So as I said earlier in the video, um, and it was dark because it was last night, probably couldn't see as good, but this is such a cool ride. It's, it's a little jousting ride. There's Ava. And um, it kind of reminds me of those little, you know, 50 cent rides you see outside of like a Walmart or a Target. Um, but it's riding the track, which makes it cool for the little kids. Um, I want to do it, but no adults. That's a bummer. Really cute ride. Lost Kingdom Adventure in the Land of Adventure. And this is appears to be a uh, slow moving shooting game. So I think we'll take you for a ride on this one. Help Johnny Thunder defeat Sam Sinister. In your blasters at the green and red targets. Ten wins. Well, that was cute. And here is a classic old wooden roller coaster. It's small. It's short. It's cute. It's not all that extreme but um it's gonna be fun and probably one of the crown jewels of legoland so let's do this That was Either I'm a terrible ninja or it just didn't work. My arms hurt like left 
Yes. Um, cute ride if it worked, but I didn't know what to do. They didn't explain it very well. And uh, yeah, like I said, either the ride just doesn't work or I'm a horrible ninja. Maybe both. Cypress Gardens. So we're going to take a look at the Cypress Gardens a little bit later. This has been a historic area um, long before Legoland and when it was bought out um, they decided to actually keep the Cypress Garden area as part of the Legoland attraction. Um, so yeah we're going to do a little walkthrough. If that's your type of thing, then stay with us. Flying couch for the first time to an assembly of master builders. They may be oh. the controllers. Hello, master builders. I present to you my latest invention, the triple decker flying couch. <laughs> Is everyone ready? Let the competition begin! Hey, let's go! I should point out this is my first time flying. Oh, awesome! Uh, this will be the first time this vehicle has been tested in flight, so there may be some new turbulence. Oh, sorry! Sorry! Oh, you ever tried moving a couch? Try flying one! Oh, 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 oh. Sorry about that! Let's try this! sprayed. Thank you. 
Let's make him awesomer! That was really cool. Um, for those of you that know Flight of Passage in Animal Kingdom and Disney, very similar. Uh, way more intense than Soren. So I would put it as a younger sibling of Flight of Passage. Um, I'd be the best ride in Legoland. Very cool. Some people were complaining about getting nauseous because uh, it's a lot of, not spinning, but you don't really know where to look, so you get that sensation in your stomach. Um, but if you like Flight of Passage, you're gonna love this ride. Really, really cute and Lego movie themed. Awesome. Everybody, this is Granny Pig. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Looks like a maze. And just little picture spots for little kids. There's a little roller coaster there. Looks cute. Very small park. Very small park. But cute for the little ones. But this is like a park really for the little ones. I would have to say if your kid is eight, nine years old, maybe a little too too big for this park. Like they need to be young and really into Pippa Pig. where the kids will run around in their underwear or bathing suits and get wet and there's Peppa Pig there's a little boat ride over here Boats just go in circles. Kids love it. Nice a little bicycle track. It's cute. It's a cheap attraction to maintain. <laughs> yeah, a little sand pit. Kids feel like getting dirty and all full of sand. It's 
great place for them to to play. Um, it's a little dinosaur adventure ride, similar to the medieval jousting ride in Legoland. It's actually the same exact ride, um, except it, uh, it's got little dinosaurs on it. It's cute. take a look inside to cinema to shop I think there's a place to get some food in the distance you can see some balloons little balloon rides going up I think there's another ride back there we'll take a look at later really really small but cute little area for the kids Not sure it's worth the price. <laughs> if it's this is the only park you're going to, you might be a little disappointed in how little there is here and how small the park is. Um, but if you're doing the combo Legoland, Peppa Pig Land, um, you probably do need two days to get to both. Cute little eatery in here. A little diner effect. You know, it's basic foods. Chicken sandwich, grilled cheeses, mac and cheese, that kind of stuff. It's probably not the best food, but it's what the kids like. So, to recap the weekend, um, Legoland is a small park, a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Um, a little on the pricey side, food just throughout the park really isn't that great, um, but it is what it is, it's park food. Um, the attractions are anywhere from little kitty rides to uh, surprisingly some a little more extreme. Um, there was a soaring uh, flight of passage type of um, video ride that was pretty intense. Um, I enjoyed that quite a bit. A um, couple of small roller coaster type rides that, um, you know, definitely not for the teenagers, uh, but for little kids, pretty extreme. And, um, you know, it, it was, it, it's, it's a nice weekend getaway if you have younger kids. I'd say, if you have children under the age of 12 or 11 or so, you know, it's, it's a good two-park um, uh, destination. You know, there's a, uh, there's a Legoland Hotel and a Pirate, I think a, a Pirate Island Hotel um, that are themed accordingly. They're expensive, you know, three to four hundred dollars a night. Um, but they're pretty well themed and they're right at the park. Um, the, there's a lot of hotels along the strip around the, um, around the park that you can go to. Um, we stared at an a, stayed at an Airbnb, Airbnb, um, maybe about 10 minutes away uh, for a lot cheaper than what the hotels are going for. But, like I said, nice little weekend getaway. You can, uh, you know, if you have little ones, they're gonna love it here. Um, it's not Disneyland, it's not Disney World. Uh, the quality um, of, and the upkeep and the maintenance is definitely not 
what you would be used to if you are an avid Disney goer. Um, a lot of the attractions are a little on the rusty side. Um, some things are newer, some things are not. And we uh, noticed that the staff and, and, and cast members are really, th there's not the attention to detail and safety and pleasantry like you get at Disney World and Disneyland. Um, you know, some of the boat rides, you see kids standing up and them falling in and parents having to grab them or splashing their hands in the water. Uh, you know, staff members not paying attention. So you really need to be on top of your kids when you come here um, because the staff do not uh, pay attention like they do at Disney. But, I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's a park. It's not a cheap park. Um, but it's, it's a park geared for the kids. They're going to love it, especially if they're into Legos. Uh, the little, little ones, if they're into Peppa Pig, they're going to love it. Um, Peppa Pig is not worth the price alone. You have to make it a combo uh, park visit. Um, you know, I, I don't think I would pay $30 to come to this park by itself. Um, but combine weekend trip uh, with Legoland, definitely uh, worth bringing your kids over. So, you know, all in all, I give it a B plus. It was a fun weekend. You know, we came with our four-year-old niece and she just absolutely loved it. This was really the goal of the weekend. Um, you know, and also for me to get some video. But yeah, I hope um, this video um, serves you all well. Uh, if you made it to the end, please you know, subscribe. And thank you for viewing. Um, hit that notification bell. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more videos. Bye-bye.